Hi, I'm Bob Russo with Avid Technology, and today I'm going to show some of the new features in Media Composer 5. The first thing we're going to talk about is native QuickTime support via AMA. So on my desktop here, I have two folders. These are a folder full of ProRes QuickTime files, and I also have a folder full of Canon uh, D7 QuickTime files. And I'm going to link to them in Media Composer. No rewrap, no transcode. Just going to go File, Link to AMA Files, and then I go to my desktop, and I have my folder of ProRes files, and I just literally select them all and go open. You see the, the Media Composer indexes them, and they're, they're available immediately, and I can double click on it in my bin, and I'm playing it right away. No rewrap, no transcode, Dating. nothing. I have QuickTime files, ProRes QuickTime coming out of the Media Composer oh, okay. in full quality. This is sound really bad, but and then I have my link to AMA files again. I'm going to talk about some uh, the, the Canon D7 files. So here I have on my desktop a shortcut to the Canon files. I can select those. Natively available in Media Composer right away. No rewrap, no transcode. Immediately available. All this and I have all the metadata that's recorded. You can actually see that these are ProRes Kodaks. These are H.264 Kodaks. So you can see the Kodak that I'm using in the, in the video and the time code. So what we're doing with the, uh, the D7, we're actually taking the time of day on the, on the clips and we're extrapolating the time code from there. So we're actually giving each individual clip unique time code. So I can work with that right away. The other big feature is actually red, native, quick, native red support in Media Composer. So same thing, file. I'm going to go link to AMA volume on my desktop. I have a red folder here. Here's the folder with the red files. I click choose. Immediately, the red files are available. And you can see right here, it actually says red raw, red raw Kodak. And I can play those red files with no rewrap or transcode. And here's some red files available immediately. I can play them down on my laptop. Not the most dynamic shot in the world, it's a still frame of a, of a building. That's what I got. One of the things about this, if you notice, uh, on this shot itself, I actually is, uh, it's actually zooms in a little bit too far for that. I actually have some black bar. These are all shot in the two to one format in, with the red camera. So what I need to do is I want to actually crop that off without actually having to put a, uh, put an effect on the clip inside of Media Composer. So we have a new feature in the columns here. I'm going to turn on uh, reformat. Turn on the reformat heading. And now, I, it's right now it says center, uh, center keep size. I'm going to say uh, center crop. And I do, I'll oh, do that, load that clip in and now it's all cropped off. So I can actually do this to all my clips that I want to do that to and they'll all be cropped off immediately and I use them in the edit and they're available with the, that in there. Um, we have another really cool feature in this release and that would be the, uh, the real-time RTAS plugins. So and over here I can actually add an insert and now I have available to me all the RTAS plugins that are, that are loaded on my system. Uh, a real common one that you'd want to do is sort of a compressor limiter. And so here's my, if you take a look at this video. This was in there, and then he came, and you started He talks, the he's, really, he's whispering, and then there's a door slam. Yes. So I need to normalize that. That would be, that would something that would be very difficult to do in Media Composer prior to 5.0. I can actually normalize that with a real-time plugin. This was in there. This was in there, and then he came, and he just started pounding on the doors, and then I think he fell in the stall next to me, and you just left him there. And I have a, a, a real-time RTAS plugin available in Media Composer. Really, really powerful. Um, uh, one of the real big features is the new UI enhancement. And that is over here, there's actually what's called the Smart Tool, very, very much like what we have in Pro Tools. It's, it's very much like that. I could turn on all these smart tools just with the one button, just like in Pro Tools. I could turn them off, all on or all off. So I want the classic method. I can, I can do that. We haven't taken that away. And if I zoom into my clip here, depending on where my cursor is on the timeline, 
So right now I'm in segment mode. I can drag that clip and move it around. If I go into a splice in or overwrite mode, I can now I'm overwriting the clips. Uh, I also have trim mode, so I can trim there. I can, I can trim the head, trimming all my clips back. If I go to the bottom of it, the bottom of the clip, I'm now splice in trim. So now it's going to ripple everything back. I'm going to shorten my sequence down. The same thing if I get in the middle of it, I have double roller trim. And then same on the other side. Additionally, we add this feature right here called link selection. So if I select a clip with this on, it will select the matching audio for that clip. Uh, if I have that off, then we have the legacy workflow where it only, only does the video without the matching audio. So very powerful, really powerful, quick workflow enhancements uh, in Media Composer. So you can work much, much faster, timeline manipulation. And, um, and so those are the main features in, in uh, Media Composer 5. Thanks very much.